Every Christian needs to watch this video, especially if you're new to the faith. The Holy Spirit told me to make this video. It's a warning. Nowadays, you hear so many teachings on faith. Now hear me so you don't misconstrue what I'm saying. There are many times that God will call you to do something risky. So understand that. But learn to discern the voice of God from the voice of the enemy. Why do I say this? Because there is a very thin line in having faith and testing God. Let's go to Bible. Jesus is fasting and praying in the wilderness. Satan comes to him and offers him a good amount of proposals. Verse 5 says, Then the devil took him up to the holy city, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge over you. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said, It is written again, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. The enemy Satan wanted Jesus to jump from the temple and unalive himself. An undiscerning Christian would have took that as a leap of faith. God wants me to take this leap of faith. When in reality, it's the enemy. Learn the difference between being wise and discerning from actual faith. Because what the enemy does is he'll plant a seed in your impulses. I'm going to say that again. He'll plant a seed in your impulses and make you think to yourself through the voice of impulse, because that's how Satan talks to. And he'll have you taking a leap that God didn't even call you to. I believe that God told me to leave my job. I believe that God told me to get a divorce. I believe that even though I just got saved like about one day ago, God told me I need to launch a ministry and pastor a church today. I believe that even though I got saved a day ago, that since God called me to be a prophet, I'm a prophet today. Even though I haven't been through trials, I'm going to take that leap of faith. Here's a really good one. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. So I'm going to go into a room full of sick people. I'm going <gasps> to breathe their air. And I'm not going to get sick. And let me tell you why this is a good one. Because there are times that the Holy Spirit can tell you to do that. This happened with John G. Lake. Sickness disintegrated around him because of the power of God. However, just because we have the Holy Spirit doesn't mean that all of us operate in that level of power and anointing. Because there are still many Christians that took this mindset a few years ago that walked into a room full of sick people. And next thing you know, guess what they have? They had that 2020. Can't say it on here. They got sick, weren't able to do a lot of stuff. And then many of them began to question God. God, why did you let me get sick? I stepped out on faith. No, you stepped out on testing God. God, you told me if I did this, I wouldn't get sick and I'm sick. No, God didn't tell you to do that. The enemy did. You were testing God. However, there are other times when God did tell people to do that. And boom. Nothing happened. People got healed. You have to learn the difference between faith and testing God. Testing means put to the test, make trial, tempt, try. In the context Jesus is talking about, you're moving in a direction that God did not tell you to move in. Many Christians, I say again, would have interpreted Satan's voice as God's. You're on a 40-day fast. You're at the temple, modern-day church. You're praying, you're giving up food for God, you're reading scripture, now you hear a voice tell you to take a leap of faith. Oh, it must be God, and you do it, you're out of here. But Jesus, because he spent time with the Father, he knew the voice of the enemy versus the voice of the Father. And he was able to identify the difference between faith, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, versus tempting God. Understand this, the enemy will speak through your impulses. So if you feel that you have to do something off of impulse, the same impulse that promotes you to sin, refrain from it. If you don't have a peace in your spirit about it, don't do it. Don't be rushed to do anything. Don't be worried about anything, but instead be prayerful and make sure that you hear God's voice on an important matter, any matter, before you do it. If you like content like this, follow for more. The day after tomorrow is the deadline. I'm doing a detailed course on apologetics defending the faith against Muslims, atheists, and a lot more. I'm going to be breaking down the historical side of Christianity inside our major world religions as well to help you defend the faith against them. Tips on evangelism and a lot more. Now, if this sounds like something that could be beneficial for you and you want to be a part of it, you want more information, click that event bright link in my bio. Same on Instagram. And it'll be pinned in the comments on YouTube. It is pre-recorded, so if you work, you'll have the link to watch at your own leisure, your own pace, whenever you want, as long as YouTube is up and running. But if you do join, check all your folders when it's sent out, because it can be sent to another folder if you have certain settings on it, right? See you guys there.